is Christopher Malcolm. I am a lifestyle, fitness, and advertising photographer based in Los Angeles. I'm here to talk to you today about a shoot that I just did for Lululemon. So the assignment was to shoot uh, Lululemon Ambassadors. Uh, ambassadors are local athletes, uh, fitness professionals that are really embodying the Lululemon brand. Uh, and what Lululemon does is kind of interesting is they uh, each store has their own set of ambassadors. So they wanted to shoot uh, a set of, uh, five, in this case, five ambassadors that really embody the community, uh, they represent the brand well, uh, and our job was to go out and create art uh, with each of these people in separate photo shoots that would then come together as a collective so piece. Prior to shooting, we had a nice uh, conference call with all the members of the Lululemon team, uh, both in corporate and locally, to try to get an idea of, you know, from a brand, from an overall brand perspective, what type of story are we trying to tell? You know, when I photograph things, I always try to look for the story. I'm a storyteller. Uh, so I try to look for these indiv individually with these um, ambassadors who I'd never met until the shoot. Uh, but the idea is to kind of figure out a little bit of what's, what's their story, what's their character. You know, uh, if, this, if this were a movie, what role do they play in the world now? Then obviously on set, uh, first thing I like to do is, you know, after you get all the, you know, the uh, styling and wardrobe components out of the way, on set, first thing what I like to do is to, uh, you know, talk to the each ambassador individually, you know, get a sense of who they are, uh, try to um, figure out, you know, uh, you know, what makes them tick and uh, what what that what makes them really special. And I mean, fortunately, we we're shooting a group of people who are all special in some way, shape or form. Uh, it's really a wonderful group. That secret that we know So one of the things that the client was very specific about is that they wanted to feel like natural light. They didn't want to feel overlit. They didn't want it to feel um, staged, uh, which was nice uh, because it was a, got a chance to, for me, like to get to work with just kind of like the basics of photography, which is just you know read the light, uh, make sure that your the person your subject is alive in front of the camera and then just kind of create wonderful moments. Uh, the challenge, of course, being, you know, sometimes the locations weren't completely conducive to that. You know, sometimes you're working in, I mean, gyms can be fantastic, but it can also be kind of dark. Uh, some of the spaces are very functional, uh, but, you know, less scenic. So the idea is to try to create images, uh, create moments where all of it comes together and you feel like this wonderful person is in this wonderful environment. <laughs> And they're doing these amazing things, um, which is easy because you're, you're shooting amazing people. It's not such a stretch. It's nice to be able to kind of create that environment where they can be themselves. Uh, and I really wanted the pictures to feel um, more like uh, they were just working out with a friend and I happened to be their friend. You know, forget about the fact that I probably met them about four minutes beforehand. But the idea is to, I wanted the, the, the audience to get a sense that these people were, were just working out. Like, what, what, what would they look like in their real life if you were, you know, going for a run with Luke Milton? Or if you were, uh, you know, just uh, doing some yoga with Aaron. You know, it, it's like I wanted it to feel very natural, uh, not posed, and uh, very fluid. I love 
love shooting athletes. I mean, I was an athlete myself, uh, not nearly as amazing <laughs> as these folks. But uh, I used to play, you know, football, and I think uh, that probably plays into um, sometimes the way I shoot. Uh, I like the way uh, I think I have a skill when it comes to picking up movement and anticipating movement. Um, and I think that really kind of comes across uh, in the photos, at least I hope it does. Um, but I, you know, I think it was a really nice, um, it was almost simpatico, uh, you know, kind of some of my own personal beliefs along with the way Uber Lemon feels, which is I'm very, I'm a big believer that people can achieve anything that they want and that it's just a matter, you know, effort, 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 and, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Uh, and I think fitness embodies that, you know, so many people have their own fitness goals, so many people are trying to do their own uh, thing and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes you get discouraged, uh, sometimes you get encouraged. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, fitness is almost a metaphor for life itself, which is, you know, if you just keep working at it, you know, you, you do the dirty work, you put in the hard work, uh, you really can achieve whatever goals it is that you set out to do. And I think um, that's why I love working with Lululemon because I believe that they have that same kind of um, ethos. And they uh, and these people that I get the subjects that I got to shoot, the ambassadors, each really embody that idea that uh, you know they they work really hard on their bodies, but they're also very encouraging, they're very upbeat, they're very positive, uh, and you can see why their clients love working with them because uh, they really they they give you something to look forward to when you come to the gym.